What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to talk about a new unmatched set for King and Country. This one brings us Black Widow, Black Panther and Winter Soldier. Uh, all three of them I really liked in the movies. Uh, generally my knowledge of Marvel is mostly known from the movies in the past 10 12 years how long they are going out uh, they are releasing them and uh, a little bit from YouTube from different commentary channels and whatnot so yeah again some Marvel IP characters with all kinds of different abilities each deck feels really unique really different does different things so we have Black Widow that has these missions that she needs to do so she can draw some extra cards, uh, deal damage to opponents, make them discard cards. And once you uh, you are done with the mission, you will draw a new mission. Also, she starts with a hand of six cards. Usually each player starts with, uh, each character starts with six cards, uh, with the five cards, but she starts with a six. So that's a little bit something different that we didn't saw in the previous decks. Uh, we also have Black Panther. He has his Vibranium suit, so he can store cards from opponent in the Vibranium suit and then use them to inflict extra damage, to do all kinds of different things with them. And of course we have Winter Soldier. Winter, so Winter Soldier has one of the coolest abilities. His cards cannot be fainted. You can't play faint and like ignore the text on his cards. So he ignores your card because he's a freaking Winter Soldier. Uh, to be honest, it, when I first read that, it sounded like super overpowered ability to me, but it actually it is not because he's not like a crazy, uh, insanely like overpowered character. Uh, so very rarely the people will try to cancel uh, his abilities. Uh, but yeah, overall that's what he does and, uh, and he does it the best. So. Uh, against the decks uh, that has lots of faint, lots of these, uh, like, uh, cancel the text of the opponent card abilities. I think the... which one has, like, a lot? Is it Sherlock or... or... I don't know which one now, but this guy against him, easy. You, you don't have to worry because you can't cancel his text, right? So yeah, uh, this Marvel set brings characters that are more familiar, so I guess more people will like this one. Uh, if you watched my previous uh, video of Teen Spirit, or maybe I released that one after this one, who knows, doesn't matter. When you watch it, uh, I didn't care much about those characters because I don't know much about the, them, but uh, I really like these characters, from, as I said, from the movies, and uh, I wanted to check it out. Of course, I wanted to paint the miniatures also, so if you wanna see how I painted these miniatures, there's like a quick tutorials on my second channel, Life of a Miniature Painter, you can check all of those videos up there. Because I wanted to separate them, I started to uh, like uh, put out a uh, lot of painting videos and this is not a painting channel, this is like more like a review gameplay channel, so I wanted to associate that with another channel, so I did that. Uh, but yeah, overall, it is a great set, brings a lot of new uh, and different things uh, as each deck does. Uh, also, the map looks really cool, you are running over on a helicarrier, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, I really liked it. I think it's a great set. Some of these characters are really nice to play, uh, like the, those Vibranium suit cards that you store like in your Vibranium suit and then you lash out at your opponent, super fun. So definitely check out for King and Country. I think it's a great Marvel set. You definitely want to check it out. And uh, that is it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spending time with me. If you did not subscribe, do subscribe. And yeah, tell me in the comments below which one of these is your favorite character. Is it any of these or is it something else? I don't know. Tell me something in the comments below because YouTube loves that. And the uh, algorithm of YouTube loves that. And uh, until next time. Pozdrav.